Hey everybody, it's Teff, and as you can see, I've gone just a little bit crazy on Etsy with the stickers. I decided to try some new sticker designers, so I thought it'd be a lot of fun to show you all of the new stickers that I got, and hopefully expose you to some new shops. I'm gonna go shop by shop, starting with Let's Plan It. By the way, I'm gonna leave links to all of these shops in the bottom bar down below. Also, if you're gonna order from any of these shops, I highly recommend you check their Instagrams and Facebooks. Sometimes they have coupon codes there. And speaking of coupon codes, Les Planet had a coupon code on her little freebie. I think it's really cute. You get a lot of nice, cute little stickers. And then there's also a 15% off coupon code with a $15 plus order. I will leave all that information in the description box down below as well. So let's go ahead and get into the stickers. As you can see, the first one is Belle from Beauty and the Beast inspired. She has a whole Disney princess collection. They're all so adorable, but I didn't want to completely stock up before I actually tried these stickers. So I decided to get Belle because she is my favorite Disney princess. And these stickers are matte, by the way. I do not know if they're removable. So here we have your full boxes. You also have a couple of little strips, some dots, and the weekend banner right here. And then we have half boxes, a couple of deco stickers, and some checklists, headers. I like how it comes with a weekday, days of the week, little bet header. Hey, Coco. You like Disney princesses too? I think Coco's just gonna hang out with us for a while. So anyway, you also have this this week. I guess this is for different things that you wanna do each day of the week. And then you have some little water bottles for hydrates. Then of course you have your washi. I think it's really interesting that this doesn't have a lot of a pattern. You have Belle on both sides, so she'll be like on either side of your planner. So cute. Then you have some date covers, which I don't typically use, but I think it'd be a lot of fun to experiment with some meal planning and some other little stickers. And then you have some full boxes, a little bit of washi, and then a few more dots here. And then I'm assuming this kit, which is kind of a geometric jewel tone kit, will go along kind of the same uh, general structure. A lot of times sellers will have a specific structure for their kits. And you'll see a lot of kits kind of following similar structures, but they uh, typically within the same seller will have the same structure within the kit. So of course you have your full boxes, which are all jewel tones, half boxes, some washi, and some checklists. I may be wrong about this one, but I think the last page of checklists, what I'll get to in just a second, may be an optional add-on that I decided to add. So again, you do have this, and I didn't notice it on the other one, but you have a planner here. I'm assuming there was one there, but it had like Belle's face on it, so I couldn't realize it was a planner. I love the jewel tone washi for the bottom, and the litters will be really cute, and look, the meal planner, it has like a little cover on it. Isn't that adorable? I feel like I should be a little bit more mid-frame here. And then you have your check boxes. This beautiful Glam Squad kit is from Willow Fields. And fun story about this one, I actually had this in my cart, wasn't sure if I wanted to buy it, and then it went out of stock for like two weeks. So I literally had to stock my cart to see when it went back in stock. And as soon as I did, or as soon as it did, I snatched it up. So this is what the kit looks like. This is matte, and then there was a little freebie on the bottom. It has some little hashtags, and then also some functional ones like a bill due, email, call, remember, plan, study, other stuff like that. And then I like how she added, thanks so much for your order. It was really cute. And really what drew me to this kit was the deco stickers. I think those are just so pretty and so gorgeous. And then the second sheet, we have some little flags like this. I don't see too many of those flags in kits. Some functional sheets, some flags, these kinds of flags. I don't tend to use those. Icons and then date covers. I think I might have to start using date covers because a lot of these kits are coming with them. Then you have all of the headers. I probably won't use too many of these, but that's okay. It's good to have them around. Then the full boxes are absolutely gorgeous. I love kind of the peacock glam theme. Then we have our full boxes, which again are just absolutely gorgeous. We have some half boxes and copious amounts of washi. And then we have our bottom washi, a hydrate box, dinners. I love how it has a work schedule because I always end up putting that in the sideboard on the specific days. Reminders, vitamins, and the book that you're currently reading. Station Stickers is another new shop that I order from, and the front of the kit has just the washi and some half boxes, 
And then I actually thought this was the front of the kit when I was filming my intro and I'm like, that's really boring. I wish the full boxes were in front. At least the other side looks nicer. So of course you have your little card. I think it's just a business card that she included that says station stickers. So let's go ahead and start from this side since this is the pretty side. And what really drew me to this is the foil that is on it. I think that's really gorgeous. And I think she's, I don't know if this is a number for the kit or for the like actual sheets, but there's a little number there. So we have these and then these are the full boxes. Isn't that so gorgeous? And then you have your little foil accents. Oh, so beautiful. Got your headers. I love how we have two of these weekly ones and her weekend banner is really cute. I actually like weekend banners that aren't too in your face weekend banner because I really feel like that throws off the spread. So I like that this one's gorgeous and elegant, but still pretty monochromatic and won't throw off the spread. And her Bill Do stickers are adorable. And I'm really impressed that she has a coffee cup in her little deco because I use a lot of coffee cup stickers. Got your full boxes, just standard heart checklist, and then some, I guess these are quarter boxes. I've actually been wanting some of those but haven't decided on a shop to order them from and I guess I have to turn it around. So we have our icons, some half boxes rescheduled and canceled. And it looks like this was just a card to stabilize the whole thing. Last is Glam Planner. And as you can see, I actually have a few of her kits. All of these were purchased on pre-sale. When she brings out a new kit, she always does a pre-sale of it. And then it takes like three to four weeks to get them. So I pre-sailed all of these like at least a week or two apart, each of them. And then they all came within a four day span. So that was kind of cool. And each of them, because they're all separate orders, comes with a little freebie. So we will see if all the freebies are the same. And I forget what the name of this one is. I think it's something to do with like sleepy or I don't even know. But I think this is very appropriate because pretty much every day I dream about a nap, except I don't really get it every day. So you just have all sorts of little cute animals and it's so adorable. And then you have your check boxes, got your half boxes. Again, we have two Monday through Sunday boxes. I like how she included a movie marquee. I think the planner sticker is a little big for my purposes though. That's, I guess, my one critique on a lot of these planner stickers. They're like huge and I don't need that much room for a planner sticker. I don't have that much room. I know she's been reformatting her little section and kind of playing around with it. So it'll be interesting to see if this is the right amount of littles for me. I've been using more littles lately. Her weekend banner is cute. I'm just wondering if that's going to be a little bit busy and if it's not going to really stand out in the spread or if it's going to cause more busyness, I guess. And then the washi this time around. Is this like a cat washi? That's, that's kind of interesting because here's the thing. I don't know because you might not know how these are cut. So to prevent any white area, she has a a whole image there and then she cuts the separate stickers. So even if you pull these stickers up and put them right next to each other because little strips of the cat ooh, are missing, it won't look like a cat. So I have to say my one critique on this kit, besides the planner thing, is that this was not a very good image to use as washi. This one is one of the ones that I was super excited about. This is her Waldorf collection. I think it was originally called like the Blair Waldorf collection, but she probably changed it to avoid copyright. Anyway, apart from this, I don't really see too much in the way of Blair Waldorf because it's like tea and macarons. I don't know. Like it definitely kind of screams like fancy, but I don't remember too much of that in Gossip Girl, but I could be wrong. And BT does. Every time I want to say Blair Waldorf, I keep thinking Blair Fowler. So we do have the same little freebie in this one. So again, and these are glossy by the way, except for the washi sheet. So we have your full boxes, the checklist. I do, while I do like the pattern checklist, I think the plain colors end up making the spread look elegant and a little bit less cluttered, if that makes sense. And it looks like this kit is entirely the same um, framework that she's working off of. Just different, well, maybe not just different things on each of them, but this is kind of cute. The clean these, go here, do these, buy these. Uh, adorable. Then I think this is pretty much the same as the other littles. And then of course you have your washi. Next one is kind of a travel kit. And as you can see with the deco being on the top, she definitely was playing around with the actual layout and what was included in the kit. 
and I actually got this one kind of at the end of when I realized I was buying way too many stickers, but I just couldn't resist. So I'm like, okay, this is the last sticker kit for a while. So we have the deco at the top, really, really adorable. And then we have this little mini sheet. You know what, now that I think about it, this may have been a monthly kit. Yeah, I think this was actually a monthly kit and I didn't actually choose this one to buy it. So anyway, we have these stickers, we have a ton of half boxes, and then we have our full boxes, which are just oh, gorgeous. And our checklists. I think these are really cute in the vacuum, but again, I'm just hoping they won't look too busy on the whole spread. Littles and headers. I love the little gold flakes for the today. And the weekend is adorable. Again, I hope like it doesn't look too busy. And the washi is adorable. I just, I like almost all of her kits. And I say almost all because the next kit and the last kit is actually one of my least favorite of the whole collection. When I first got it and ordered it, I was in love with it. It was absolutely gorgeous. And then looking at it compared to all the others, I am just not so enthused about this kit. Hopefully going through it will change my mind because I actually have not flipped through this kit yet. I ordered it like a month ago and it of course took a little while to get to me because I did pre-order it. So because it was done a little bit earlier, she does have a different sampler in here. And then we have the full boxes and this is kind of like a bright peacock theme. And then we have the check boxes. I feel like this is, I want to say like almost more of like a deco style, but I'm totally getting my art movements mixed up. But it's uh, maybe a little bit more pop arty, kind of, like elegant pop art. Is that a thing? <laughs> Headers and all that jazz. And then the washi. So I think this will still be gorgeous. I like definitely don't regret the purchase, but I have to say of all the kits I got, I'd have to say this is the least favorite, but like least favorite among things that I like, if that makes any sense. Uh, so anyway, I feel like I have like this huge pile of stickers here, not much to show you for the outro. Oh my goodness, stickers are sticking. At least it's the back that's sticking to the cellophane this time. Anyway, I'll put my whole pile of stickers right here because I'm going to go organize them in just a second. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know which one of these kits was your favorite in the comments down below. And if you have any favorite Etsy sticker shops, definitely let me know about them as well. I'd love to check them out. And until next time, bye guys.